Hello, everyone. Today, we continue our series of videos about Voldemort's Horcruxes. In this video, we will tell the story of the Horcrux that caused the most headache for Harry, Ron, and Hermione. And that's the Locket of Slytherin. The Locket wasn't the first, but it was a special Horcrux nonetheless. The object, which held a piece of the soul, belonged to Voldemort's mother and was hidden in a special place from his childhood. Voldemort considered it, perhaps, the most securely hidden Horcrux, with impressive protective charms around it. But let's take it step by step. In the early second half of the 1940s, Tom Riddle got a job at Borgen and Burks and, while dealing with the purchase of rare artifacts, met Hepzibah Smith, from whom he eventually took two relics, the Hufflepuff Cup and the Slytherin Locket. Soon after, Tom quickly left Borgen and Burks and vanished from sight in Britain. Later, wishing to achieve immortality, he killed a muggle and created a Horcrux from the locket. Decades later, Voldemort hid the Horcrux using the house elf of the Black family. He used Creature to test the protective charms. In a cave, flooded with zombies, in the middle of a lake, there is a basin where potions are conjured, and drinking it subjects one to torture. Creature was the first such test subject. Leaving the elf, as he thought, to die at the hands of the undead, the Dark Lord left the cave satisfied with the Horcrux's defenses, indifferent to the house elf's fate. However, Creature, like any house elf, was able to apparate where wizards could not. Obedient to the order, he transported himself back to his master and told him all about his journey. This master was Regulus Black, a Death Eater who gradually became disillusioned with his family's views and Voldemort's. Being a clever man, he guessed what was hidden in the cave, so he set out to destroy the Horcrux but couldn't escape the cave alive. Meanwhile, the locket remained with Creature, who was powerless to destroy the Horcrux. While Sirius lived in the Black House after Azkaban, the locket was under Harry and his friends' noses several times, but they paid it no mind, which is unsurprising. After Sirius's death, Mundungus Fletcher visited the house and took everything of value, including the locket. Meanwhile, Albus Dumbledore was already searching for Horcruxes. The Black House was then the headquarters of the Order of the Phoenix, and one day, while questioning Creature for a completely different reason, Dumbledore accidentally learned some information about the locket. Fatally ill after destroying Marvel Gaunt's ring, the headmaster postpones his visit to the cave until the last. He guesses he will have to drink to retrieve the locket. He takes Harry Potter with him partly because he will need help and partly to show Harry what dangers may lurk in searching for the other Horcruxes. What do you think? Did Dumbledore know in advance that the locket was a fake? As a result of the described operation, Dumbledore dies. After Dumbledore's death, Harry realizes that the locket in his hands is just a fake. Inside the locket, there is a note from Regulus, whose text remains a mystery to Harry and his friends until they live in the house on Grimald Place. After questioning Creature, they learn the history of the locket. After the elf story, Harry's attitude towards him changes significantly. He tries to be gentler and more polite to the old elf. And after Harry gave Creature the fake locket as a memory of his master Regulus, the elf responds with loyalty and becomes his devoted servant. It is Creature who, on Harry's orders, delivers Mundungus to Grimald Place. From Fletcher, the kids learn that the locket is with the minister's aide, Dolores Umbridge. They organize a raid on the Ministry of Magic to seize the locket. The raid is successful, but on their return, the kids accidentally reveal their hideout's location to the Death Eater Yaxley and are forced to apparate somewhere far away. From this moment on, the trio's constant wanderings begin, and while Harry, Ron, and Hermione search for a way to destroy the Horcrux, the locket does not waste time either. Inside the Horcrux, Voldemort's soul shard attempts to subjugate someone's soul, much like Tom Riddle's diary once did to Ginny Weasley. Ron is most affected by the locket. He is critically minded towards the entire operation and expresses constant dissatisfaction whenever the locket is around his neck. Eventually, Ron quarrels with Harry and Hermione and leaves them. Later, at Shell Cottage with Bill and Fleur, Ron quickly recovers and desperately wants to return. But the friends, forced to keep moving their tent, are already far away. Help comes, strangely enough, from Dumbledore's bequeathed Illuminator, which suddenly acts as a kind of beacon, tuned to Harry and especially to Hermione. Ron appears just in time to save a drowning Harry. This happens when Harry and Hermione stop in the Forest of Dean. Harry, on guard, sees someone's silver Patronus at the doe, which leads the young man to a small frozen pond. To his immense surprise, Harry sees the sword of Gryffindor lying at the bottom. Attempts to retrieve the sword through charming spells, or just asking for help, are unsuccessful. Harry realizes that only by showing true Gryffindor courage can he get the sword. 
Stripping down and breaking the ice, Harry jumps into the winter pond, forgetting to take off the locket. He manages to grab the sword, but the locket suddenly starts to strangle him and pull him down. If Ron hadn't come to the rescue, Harry would have perished. As a result, the friends acquire a powerful magical artifact capable of destroying Horcruxes. Harry suggests Ron do it. There are many reasons for this. First, Ron just saved Harry's life and helped retrieve the sword. Second, Ron has always been in a supporting role, and this is ultimately unfair. Third, Ron has suffered the most from the locket. Harry feels that the Horcrux locket should be destroyed by Ron Weasley himself. They find a suitable stone and place the locket on it. Ron readies himself with the sword, and Harry opens the locket with the word, open and parcel tongue. The soul shard resists, trying to exploit Ron's feelings, which once made him leave his friends. But this time, Ron withstands the locket's actions and destroys the Horcrux with a sword strike. Thus, the Horcrux tests the strength of their friendship, and after that, Harry, Ron, and Hermione are sure that each is ready to sacrifice much for their friends. This is the story of the Slytherin Locket Horcrux. That's all the interesting information we wanted to share with you today. If you don't want to miss other interesting videos, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell. Thank you for your attention, and see you soon.